Ends give your age away a new way to keep those digits looking young. Oh, we forget about a telltale sign of aging our hands. Bothered by her hands for the last 10 years. So I just heard about the latest Instagram uproar, apparently about uh, Khloe Kardashian's hand and how she looks like she has Dracula hands. And I thought this might be a good time to discuss the things that we can do to rejuvenate the hands and make the appearance better. I'm Dr. Renata Mix Harris, and I'm a cosmetic physician at Reflection Center in Martinsville, New Jersey. In our clinic, uh, we do find that most people are actually more focused on their face and the way they age there. Um, but it's actually your hands that can give away your age. Most people become aware of um, their aging hands when it's starting to look bad, you know, like in your 50s or 60s, but it actually starts in your late 30s, early 40s. Another thing that happens to your hands is that you actually start to lose volume in your hand. You start to lose the, uh, the fat in between the bones and that causes your tendons and veins to become more noticeable and that also gives a, a aging appearance of the hands and this usually happens towards your 40s just like with chloe now that she's nearing her 40s her hands are becoming uh, more bony appearing and like with everything in uh, cosmetic medicine the earlier, the sooner your treat, the easier it will be to uh, get improvement. You know, once you have very paper thin skin uh, and a lot of volume loss, it's going to be much harder to improve that than when you have some early volume loss or just a few sunspots and just a little bit of thinning of the skin. So one of the things that we can do for that is we can actually restore the volume with either fillers or fat. Uh, most people will use fillers because it's easy. It's an off-the-shelf product. Um, it literally takes 10 minutes to do. Um, there's a little bit of swelling afterwards, but it's not terrible. The result is instant. Um, it lasts about a year and a half to two years. And most people need about three syringes for both hands. I usually use HA fillers for it, like uh, Rest and Lift. Um, but you can also use a biostimulator um, like Radius. The negative of Radius is that it does tend to swell a lot more than um, the HA fillers. So I give my patients the option. You know, they can either use two syringes of Radius, which also adds up to about three cc's, versus using uh, three syringes of Rest than Lift, which is also a total of three cc's. So another way to rejuvenate uh, the hands and to restore the volume is by using uh, your own fat for that and um, you would use it in two different applications. One would be just microscopic fat. Basically, we remove fat from one area of the body and then we inject it just like we would do with a filler, but then we use a portion of that fat and we process it and make it very, very small. And you can inject that into the skin and you can rejuvenate the skin in that way. So you kind of get two, um, goals and with one procedure you get both volume restoration and skin rejuvenation at the same time the thought behind using your own fat and nano fat is that your own fat uh, contains a lot of stem cells and stem cells have the potential to rejuvenate the skin in a way that no other product can so when you do develop uh, sunspots or crepey uh, wrinkly looking skin you can actually do laser treatments for that. You can either do spot treatments where you just treat the individual uh, sunspots, or you can do full hand rejuvenation with a fractionated laser like the Fraxel to kind of resurface the whole hands and stimulate collagen and make them thicker while at the same time uh, treat the sunspots too. Um, you do have to be more careful when you use lasers on the hand because the recovery is a bit slower than on the face. So you, you have to treat more gentle and you may need to do more treatments than you would if you would treat for say um, the face. Um, the laser that we use most commonly for spot treatment is actually a Q-Switch Ruby laser. Um, but we have lots of different options. And again, it kind of depends on your underlying skin tone, which would be the best and safest option for you. You also have to be a little bit more careful on uh, skin of color. 
if people have a lot of pigment in their skin, if you try to treat it with an aggressive laser that takes the pigment out, you can actually lose some of the natural pigment. So um, usually if I'm worried about that, I will do a test spot on one little area before I treat the whole hand. One of the best things that you can do yourself is to prevent sun damage, and that's by wearing sunscreen. I actually remember years ago, um, I watched a Kardashian episode where Courtney said that one of the things that she had learned from Chloe was to always wear sunscreen on your hands um, because that would really help with uh, reducing sun damage and developing sunspots. Protecting your hands uh, with sunscreen is very important to do because sun damage does create a lot of aging in the hand. It uh, causes uh, sunspots, it uh, makes your skin thinner, more crepey, uh, more wrinkly. So it's very important to protect your hands with sunscreen or even with gloves like some people do. You know, some people will drive um, in their car even during the summer with gloves on. So here at Reflections, we have a lot of combined experience in hand rejuvenation. So please feel free to give us a call and set up a consultation to see what would be the best procedure for you.